Yo, my name is Major Slack, and it's, it's, it's... Well, what is it, Slack? <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. Ah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Where are you all good little boys and girls this year? Where are you? Where are you? Because if not, you gotta face this guy. Oh, no. It's the Ubermorph. And he brought me a bag of coal for Christmas. Ah! And now he's gonna force me to do this hack. Will he make it? Actually, I do make it. I was quite surprised. This part really freaks me out. I don't know why. I guess because I'm terrible at hacks. <laughs> but I make it. One shot. So, ha ha! In your face, Ubermorph. Ba-boom. Put him in stasis again to slow down his regeneration. Grab some stasis from the stasis recharge station. And we are out of here. Yeah. This area here. I believe it's one of the few areas in Chapter 14 where uh, the Uber Morph will not respawn. You can stand here for till the cows come home, and the, the Uber Morph will not pop in here. So you're safe there. You can take your time and you know loot the area and save the game, and you know wipe the sweat off your brow, and then continue through the hellacious running of the gauntlet through Chapter 14, starting with this room here. Um, everything's pretty calm in here until you go near the door. I don't want to use that explosive canister on this puker here. And nor do I want to do the catch return on this puker because for some reason this puker has jinxed me and I can never catch a return his acid bomb. So I just laid in a contact beam and be done with it. Loot the area here. This area is all about, I think his name is Armand, Armand Fatou or something like that. Anyways, his poor dead body is over on the console. And as soon as you go in the area near the door, the Ubermorph spawns in this room along with a whole bunch of other Necromorphs. But you can lay a diabolical trap for him. <laughs> Using these two explosive canisters and a detonator mine. Doesn't even need to be upgraded. Just one detonator mine and those two explosive canisters and that's it. And there's Armand Fatou, I think his name is. There's the Ubermorph. The boom, surprise, it's your birthday. Chuck the body over by the door, the door opens, and shazam, you are out of there. That's all it takes. And you can run away from all the other necromorphs that spawn in that room. Next is another visit from Up Chuck Charlie down there. How you doing, Up Chuck? I'm going to catch his acid bomb, throw it back at him. Go loot his body. Yum yum. Here, I know to the left there, there's a power node. I just, I just skipped over and I'm going to use the uh, alt fire on the contact beam. It's upgraded to the SPC level. And just put everyone in stasis and zap them a little bit. Go to the elevator, turn around. Rip this guy a new one. Waiting for the elevator. Hurry up, elevator! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! I got things to do! How to see a man about a horse. Alright, into the elevator. Yeah, <laughs> of course, the, the speed running continues, yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I figure it's the easiest way to do chapter 14. I did this in my normal walk here and I'm going to do it again. Over here you got to break the fuse on the uh, next to the door to get the door open. And I blow it here. I, I was experimenting once again this thing. <laughs> just, I decided to... Normally I do a, um, a contact beam alt fire on those guys, but I decided to try a line... Um, not a line, um, a timed mine. And I was way too close and I got blown away. But I still made it through. Yeah. Um, by the way, right now, a serious case of the hardcore heebie-jeebies is setting in because I know I'm near the end of the run, the end of the game, in fact, so I'm just getting real, I'm getting a big case of the jitters. Here, uh, after you go through the second slammy door thing, um, there's a point where if you don't go past, right here, right, see that kind of separation here? If you don't go past there, the nest's bombs can't hit you. See, they blow up before they hit you. And you can kind of tuck yourself in right in between there and the closing door, and you'll be fine. And I missed three times here. Sometimes the door will bump into you a little bit, and Isaac will kind of go, Arr! you know, as if he's being injured, but he won't. He won't get injured. See, you just got bumped there, and see the red bombs are blowing up before they reach me. So you're safe there. It's kind of like a blind spot. So I finally took down the nest. See, I got bumped again, but I don't think he's taking damage. See, I'm, I'm not taking damage. And took down the nest with the timed mine. Took three shots. <laughs> like I said, hardcore heebie-jeebies. Serious, serious case setting it. And make sure you don't blow it, Slack. Okay, and we're safe now. 
once you get to this point, you know, you're safe. Chapter 14 is done. Set the gravity back on again. Opens the upsy. And a little visit from Miss Migraine. How you doing, Nicole? All together now. Your time is gonna come. Your time is gonna come. Yeah, your time is gonna come, Nicole. Yeah. You don't fool me. Wrong place, Slack. The, the power note is in the next hallway. That's what I was doing there. I'm gonna, gonna go grab the power note. And here I got ripped off, eh? I got ripped off. This power lock room gave me the bad load. So I, I actually, like, I lost money. That's why I whack it. Watch this. <laughs> what, the, what a rip off. <laughs> Usually that power lock room will give you um, two power nodes and a whole bunch of good stuff. But once in a while it'll give you the bad load. And it won't even be worth your 10,000 credits that you spend, you know, you spend a power note on it, and if you don't really get 10,000 credits worth of stuff out of the power lock room, you got ripped off. So that's it, that's chapter 14 done. Um, how much time we got left in the video here? 40 seconds, alright. Uh, well, you know the deal. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah. And you can also add it to your favorites. That also helps to promote my videos a lot. And if you want to help support Major Slack, buy my ebook, please. It's a wonderful ebook. Dead Space 2 Secrets. Everything you want to know about Dead Space 2, but we're afraid to ask. Yes, my strategy guide contains stuff that they don't tell you in other strategy guides. Enemy spawn points, trigger lines, the whole kit and caboodle. Master the game on Zealot in hardcore mode. Want a free sample chapter? Check out the link in the video description and download yourself a free sample chapter. Take a look, see it, what it looks like before you buy it. Alright, is there a video tomorrow, Christmas Day? Yes, there is. See how dedicated I am? Alright, Slack, out.